Hello, this is the Trade Tech U.S. Stocks and Futures Market Preview for Tuesday, August 28, 2018. As expected, not a very exciting uh, week, although we did gap up and keep going, but a lot of it was the gap. So uh, we've broken the 13 sell signal on the ES. Here's the ES front month futures contract. This is the daily chart of the broad market in futures form. August usually an up month with no volume, nobody around. The big players are off on vacation. The market drifts up without them. And uh, we're doing exactly that. We've broken out of a nice cup formation, uh, but whether that's meaningful or not, once September hits next week, probably not. Uh, let's go through the major indices, then we'll look at the intraday action. So crude oil uh, up 19 cents to 69.06, gold up at dollar 60. S&P cash index gains 22.05. Again, breaking that 13 sell signal and the risk line from that on the move. It's a new closing high on the S&P Nasdaq 100. Also has a new 13 sell signal and has not broken the risk line, up 73.73. You'll notice a lot of that's the gap. We'll look at that in a minute when we look at the intraday action. Uh, Sox had that buy signal, the 13 buy signal, uh, back about a week and a half ago, and that's been the low, and it's been moving up ever since. The biotechs, look, this is a cup and handle for a potential breakout. Uh, this is a bigger, this is a more constructive pattern for a breakout here. We'll see what happens. VIX up 17 cents to 12.16. Trend closes low, one of the lowest readings of the year at 0.56. Now, I count these dots backwards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So the, there's a 1.55 reading that's still going to drop off the moving average tomorrow, I believe, in the next day or two. Maybe it's the one before, two more days. Uh, and then that moving average can drop pretty quickly if you look at what numbers are on there. Remember, a 0.85 reading on the moving average is a sell signal on the broad market. NASDAQ volume has been horrible. It's finally up 2.3 billion shares. A lot of this is about this report of a new NAFTA deal. We'll see if that matters. Advanced decline ratio only plus 475 on the NASDAQ. Not as good as most of what we saw last week. So the markets were up, but it wasn't because a lot of stocks were up. Plus 719 on the New York. Google gains 19 52 Apple up a buck 78. That's an all time closing high on Apple, even though it's not a new trade. Netflix up uh, $5.76. Amazon up $22.29. That's a new closing high. So, again, it's the same stocks. Tesla is down $3.55. TLT, the 20 year bond ETF, loses 70 cents. Goldman Sachs up $7.49. We made some great money today on Goldman Sachs and Facebook up $2.81, but that one's nowhere near the highs. All right, let's take a look at the intraday action. So here's the five-minute chart. Again, gapped up. That was a lot of the move, and then we pushed higher after about 15 minutes. That's it. I mean, the whole last five hours, look how flat that is. You're basically in a four or five-point range for five hours, untradeable in the market. Look at the NASDAQ side, even worse. Gapped up, tried to pull back early. We made some great money on the futures and the opening range. Well, we made a little money on the futures opening range trades. We made money on the stock side. But look at that, that one push up for about 30 minutes, and then, seriously, can the NASDAQ be any flatter for six hours? I mean, you just don't see it that often. All right, so in terms of economic data coming out uh, on Tuesday, we've got the uh, goods trade balance and the preliminary wholesale inventories now before the bell. S&P housing price index 30 minutes before the market. Consumer confidence and Richmond manufacturing index 30 minutes into the market. Remember, we're heading into Labor Day weekend, so Friday is going to be a bust. We'll see what we get. Charts as usual brought to you by eSignal. If you've not yet taken a trial of our services, feel free to do so. We will help you out for a couple weeks. Have a great trading Tuesday.